There are many exciting topics in sports to talk about right now. Kyler Murray choosing what major sport he'd like to make millions of dollars in. Will Kevin Durant leave the Warriors in the offseason? Will Gritty the mascot get his own horror flick? But the thing we need to talk about today is the American League East. Known for its constant superiority to all other divisions in baseball since you were born, the American League East is shaping up to have another exciting season ahead of it, as the three juggernauts in the division are gearing up to battle it out to the bloody death yet again. One crazy statistic to think about that gives you some insight into the sheer competition in that division, should you not already know, the Tampa Bay Rays won 90 games in the 2018 season, and finished 18 games back in the division. 90 wins is a really really good season for most teams. Unfortunately for the Rays and their 17 fans, it wasn't even enough to get them a playoff berth. The reason for such a tragedy being the Yankees and the Red Sox. A rivalry born in the days of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, one coming off of a World Series year, and the other coming off a 100 win season and getting even better with a solid offseason, don't look to be slowing down whatsoever. The Yankees have had the clear advantage in terms of improving their team out of the two. They now have the best bullpen in baseball by far, acquiring Britton and Ottavino, and along with Chapman, Batances, and Green, have the power to show off one of the best arsenals of arms out of the pen we've ever seen from a team. And the Red Sox lost Craig Kimbrell. That's basically all their offseason. Not to discredit the Red Sox either, you really can't get much better than 108 wins, but at the same time, you can. Your number one rival is building an army, and I think they have the tools to get past you next season. The Jays and the Orioles, we don't really talk about them. They're basically the unwanted kids you hide from your neighbors because you're ashamed of them. I mean, if I was a betting man, I'd put a large sum down that Baltimore loses 130 games next year. What a circus act that team is. The Tampa Bay Rays, however, usually play some pretty solid baseball, and with the Charlie Morton signing to back up superstar Blake Snell, they can again be some tough competition for New York and Boston. Just get them out of Floppicana Field and they'll be fine. I mean, I don't know how Major League Baseball lets them play in that terrible stadium. The Yankees, I think, are the favorites to win it this year. And I mean the World Series, not just the division. Of course, Boston still pretty much has their 108-win roster intact, but it's hard to repeat such a season, especially when your number one competition has gotten significantly better. Especially through LeMahieu and Ottavino and re-signing Britton and J.A. Happ makes it that much better for the Yankees. Boston just didn't do enough in my opinion to compensate for the Yankees' improvements, and even the Tampa Bay Rays should pick up a few more wins this season with their upgrade of Charlie Morton, who is going to play a huge role in their rotation. Can you believe it? I'm doing a video praising the Yankees, and predicting their dominance of the upcoming season. I'm not sure what I've done to deserve this, and considering I'm a Mets fan that is the son of a Mets and Red Sox fan, I'm praying my dad doesn't find this video. The American League East is going to be a fun ride yet again in the upcoming season, and I have a feeling that whichever team comes in third is going to win 95 games this year, and their name is the Tampa Bay Rays, and their 18 fans are going to be let down yet again. And in case you didn't pick up on that last part, they gained a fan in me strictly out of pity. This is a division of elite status, and I think whoever wins this division is going to win it all again. Thank you all for watching. Follow my social medias and subscribe to my other channel in the description. Hopefully you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will talk to you all later. I call the shots, I run the balls, I'm Michael Jordan. Hit it with a little bit of push and a little bit of pull when a goddamn mic recording. I bring the heat, I rep the east, I'm like the cells. I don't even know what to do with the gold that I get, bitch. I'm Michael Phelps. I'm like LeBron, I get the gold. I'm Sherry Khan, yo, Kerry Bronze. I'm Randy Moss, I'm Mary Khan. My game on Royce, I'm Barry Bonds.